Pascal's law. What is Pascal's law here? Pascal's law states that the pressure is a same at all points which are at the same horizontal level in a fluid. For example, we consider static fluid. Static fluid means the fluid which is at rest. It is applicable for static fluids only. The Pascal's law is mainly applicable for static fluids. According to this law, it is applicable for uh, static fluids. It states that the pressure is same at all points which are at the same horizontal level. Means, uh, let us consider is a container containing some liquid consider three points here a b c the three points a b c are at same horizontal level so that the pressure at the three points will be same so we can write pressure at a is equal to pressure at b is equal to pressure at c this is the pascal's law here pascal's law states that the pressure is same at all points which are at the same horizontal level which are at the same height so the points a and a b and c are at the same horizontal level so that the pressure at uh, those points will be same that is the pressure at a is equal to pressure at b equal to pressure at c now this pascal's law can be demonstrated can be verified like this here now we consider liquid containing in a container in this liquid we consider a small element in the form of a right angled prism here it is the right angled prism actually we consider this right angled prism in a very small size but for our understanding we are picturizing big means uh, to understand means to demonstrate uh, this false law clearly uh, we take this size big now suppose it is having the three faces it is a face a it is a face b and it is face c face a vertically face b horizontal face c is the slope like this inclined plane now a b and c it is having three faces now area of the face a is a a area of the face is a b area of face is c is a c now this is the part of the fluid inside the fluid now here now on this part and every face there will be forces on face a force acting is fa which is perpendicular to the surface and on face b the force is fb perpendicular to the face and also on face c force is fc which is also perpendicular to the face and we consider the angles like this here this angle uh, theta 1 and uh, this angle is a uh, theta 2 now let us try to prove the pascal's law means let us try to we have to we are going to prove that the pressure on face a on face b on face c is same how does these faces are at same horizontal level when it is a very small then the faces a b c are at the same horizontal level approximately so that the pressures on face a face b face c should also be same now we have to prove that the pressure on face a pressure on face b pressure on face c will be same to prove this what i am doing here first of all let us apply the sign for the angle theta 2 sin theta 2 apply this for areas areas now sign means a uh, opposite by hypotenuse area of opposite face is a uh, a a area of a uh, hypotenuse face is a c and you can write a uh, sin theta is equal to a a by a c similarly you apply the sign uh, theta to for forces force acting on the opposite forces uh, opposite face is f a and force acting on the hypotenuse face is f c now here sin theta 2 is same so we can write uh, a a by a c is equals to f a by f c from these two doing cross multiplication taking f c this side a a this side now we can write f c by a c is equal to f a by a a f a by a a is the pressure acting on face a and f c by a c is the pressure acting on uh, face c similarly we can also prove that that is equal to pressure on face b also now for this uh, theta 2 you apply the cos now cos theta 2 is equal to now this cos theta 2 applying for areas now first 
area of the adjacent face that is AB by area of the hypotenuse space that is AC. Cos theta is equal AB by AC. Similarly, apply the cos theta 2 for the forces also. Now, cos theta is equals to cos theta 2 is equals to force acting on adjacent face that is FB by force acting on a hypotenuse face is FC. Now, again, cos theta 2 are same. We can equate these two. Now, AB by AC is equals to FB by FC. Again, doing the cross multiplication, we write uh, FC by AC is equal to FB by AB. FB by FC by AC is a pressure acting on phase C is equal to this is a pressure acting on phase B. Already this uh, pressure acting on phase C is equal to pressure acting on phase A means uh, PA, PB, PC are mutually equal. So we can write uh, PA equal to PB equal to PC so that the pressures acting on the faces A, B and C are equal if this uh, right angled prism is very small. If the right angled prism is very small, then the faces A, B and C are at the same horizontal level. If the level is same, pressure are same. So this is proved like this here. PA is equal to PB is equal to PC.